Silver! Hi! A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi yo Silver, the Lone Ranger. Faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. His strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness, were always on the side of right against might. And it was his vision of the future that finally brought peace and security to the frontier. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're heading for Marksville. There's going to be trouble. Hey, old Silver. Hey! Lem Smiley was seated at his desk in the office of the Marchville Bank. He finished counting the money that was piled in front of him and then raised his eyes to Ed Torrance, who had been watching every move he made. 2500 That's what I figured. I'll deposit 1000 to your account. What do you mean, 1000 That's your share. Who gets the rest of it? 1000 goes to me, 500 goes to the boys. You sure don't have to work hard for your share. You need me, Ed. You need me for information and security. And I deliver the goods. Time's going by when I have to go out and hold up a stage myself. Yeah? Yeah. And put this money in the safe, Blackie. Right. Now, let's see. Two o'clock. You'd better hightail it. Stage will be doing another hour, and when it don't show up, the agent's going to call out the sheriff. He'll hit the trail and pick up the driver walking in. No, he won't. Why not? We had to shoot him. He's dead? Yeah, he recognized me. I had to tell the boys to let him have it. I gave you strict orders. Sure. I'm not sticking my head in the noose when a little hot lead can fix things up. Oh, you're loco. The sheriff's been getting awfully nosy lately, and now you're giving him a murder to work on. Why not uh, get rid of the sheriff? It's been done before. Yeah. Hurry up with that money. Well, I had to get it into the bags. On your way, Ed. When'll I hear from you? Not until I'm sure it's safe. Hold-ups are one thing, murder's another. I gotta find somebody to take the blame for this, and it ain't gonna be easy. Now get out of here. What the? That came through the window. See who's outside, Blackie. The rock with some paper around it. What was that dropped out? Looks like a bullet. Hey, old Silver! Hey! There they go! There's two of them. An engine and a mask man. An engine and a mask man? This bullet's made of silver. Hey, let me see that. And he called his horse Silver Limb. I heard him. That was a lone ranger. Is there any writing on that note? Yeah. Well? <laughs> What's funny? He says, this time you've gone too far, Smiley. Smiley? Yeah, look for yourself. You always play it safe, but not safe enough for him. He'll go to the sheriff and... Oh, no, he won't. He hasn't got any proof he couldn't have. Well, then why should he write He picked this... up your trail somewhere near the stage and followed you here. He used your name, not mine. Sure. 
He thinks I was there. And that puts me in the clear. Hey, I've got it. I still don't think the masked man will go to the sheriff. But I will. Huh? I'll tell him I saw the holdup. I saw the masked man shoot the driver. Who's going to believe the Lone Ranger would do that? The sheriff won't know it's him. And the masked man means an outlaw. It might work. Unless the masked man saw the holdup himself. Yeah, he couldn't have. He'd have done something about it. Now, I'm going to... Hey, where's Blackie? What? Well, he was standing over by the window. He's gone. I don't like that. You don't figure you'd try and double cross us. He's got no more nerve than a coyote. I'm going after him. Wait here for me, Ed. Right. Now, what's the idea of waking me up this time of night, Blackie? I want you to swear me in as a deputy. What's that? Yeah, right now. You go on, loco. No, Sheriff. There's going to be an awful lot of trouble here in Marshville before long, and I want to be on the right side. Well, you've been working for Smiley. Yes. Is that the... the wrong side, Blackie? No, I didn't mean that exactly. You're the law, though. What are you scared of? I ain't scared. You sure act like it. Well, I tell you, there's going to be trouble. All right. What kind of trouble? Well, I saw a masked man and an engine tonight. They were... More company. What's going on here? Hello, Sheriff. Oh, Smiley. Yeah. What do you got your hand on your gun for? Oh, uh, nervous, I guess. See, Blackie got here already. Did you send him? How much you told the sheriff, Blackie? Well, he said there was going to be trouble and that he'd seen a masked man and an Indian. Well, didn't he say anything about the holdup? What holdup? Well, the stage from Garden City. Sam Wilson's dead. Dead? Yep, I saw it happen. I was riding along the trail and I heard the shots. When? Where was this? Oh, about two hours ago, this side of the pass. I took the cover, but I got close enough to see Wilson slumped on the box and the masked man, the engine, dragging the money chest out of the boot. And I rode back to town as fast as I could. I got as far as the bank when I heard somebody following me. Then I ducked inside. Blackie was there, and we saw both the masked man and the engine. They rode straight through town, heading west. You better get after him, Sheriff. Blackie, you still want to be my deputy? Eh? Uh, why, uh, why, sure. Round up some of the boys. We'll send a few of them back to get Sam. Then the rest of us can go after the road agents. Hey, you'll never catch him if you wait for a posse. All right, the three of us will go. No, 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 not me. Catching crooks is your job. And, uh, Blackie's. I'll go back for Sam, but that's all. Are you with me, Blackie? Yeah. Wherever you go, that's where I'm going, too. Then come on. Did you find him? I found him, the yellow sidewinder. He's hired out as the sheriff's deputy. They're coming after us? No, well, I got there before he could spill the beans. And while I was telling the sheriff my story... Putting the blame on the mask, man. Yeah, that's it. I was looking at Blackie and my hand was on my gun. He got the idea. He'll die if he talks. Yeah, he's scared now, but we can't take any chances, Ed. There's no telling how long he'll stay scared. Where is he now? With the sheriff. They're trying to pick up the masked man's trail. Now, look, I want you to go after him. What for? Don't let Blackie come back here. You can catch him, all right. Following a trail, they'll have to take it slow, and there's plenty of cover. You can pick the skunk off and make an easy getaway. Why don't you do it? Because you started the killing tonight, and you're going to finish it. Besides, I'm going after Sam. <laughs> I uh, promised the sheriff. Well, we still won't know if we're safe. Just one word from Blackie before he dies. That's all the sheriff will need. You get Blackie and I'll take care of the sheriff. How? You leave that to me. Shoot straight and Blackie won't have a chance to talk. Time to call on the sheriff, fellow. We show him outlaw camp. Yes, we have no proof against them except those tracks are led away from the stage. But at least you can round them up and question them. Other tracks lead to bank. What do you think about that? They were either made by Smiley himself or someone who works for him. That's why I left a warning behind. He may do something to give himself away. Maybe so. Oh, a rifle shot. They come from round bend. Come on, Silver. Bust through old boy. Get him up to count. This is rough country. Uh, plenty of cover for ambush. There, Toto. There's a horse without a rider. A man lying ground. Another killing. The shot might have come from either side of the trail. You watch out. Miller may be still near. <laughs> We've got to do what we can for this man. Uh, it's too late. Help him now. Do you know him? Want to see him in town. Him work at bank. For Smiley? That's right. Him guard. But he's wearing a deputy sheriff's badge. Take a look at the trail. Two horse come this way. You mean someone was riding with him? Ah. Uh. 
The fellow ride with him, go that way. That must have been where the shot came from. We'll take a look. And there, man, now. Right back. Up with him! In the name of the law! It's the sheriff. Him think we kill man. Yes. If we stay here, we'll be arrested. I said up with him! There's no time to argue. Come on, Silver! Come on, Scout! The sheriff started after the great white horse and the paint, but they soon left him far behind. He returned for Blackie and rode to town. It was broad daylight by the time he reached town, and the main street was crowded with townspeople discussing the holdup of the previous night. The sheriff paid no attention to their eager questions. He dismounted in front of his office and carried Blackie inside. It was then that Lem Smiley and Dead Torrance shouldered their way through the crowd. Out of my way. Hey, what's ailing you, Lem? Want to go inside? Nope. I just want to climb up here in the steps so I can talk to all of you. Well, what's on your mind? I think we got a crook for a sheriff. A crook? That's what I said. Don't none of you go shout me down till you hear me out. Well, go ahead. You all know that I saw the masked man, the ancient, taking the money out of the stage. What you don't know is there was another man with him. Huh? It was hard to see good, and this hombre had a bandana up around his face. But it looked to me like the sheriff. Oh, I didn't say nothing about it last night because I wasn't sure. Tell him what you and Blackie fixed up. I'm coming to that. Blackie volunteered to go out with the sheriff as his deputy to keep an eye on him. You saw how he came back. We don't know what happened on the trail. But I'll bet my bottom dollar that if Blackie could talk now, he'd tell me that I was right. There's been an awful lot of holdups lately. The sheriff ain't made an arrest for one of them. Did you ever stop to think of that before? Lem's right. It's the second time they got the stage. Yeah. Of course, there was a gang last time. Oh, I ain't saying the sheriff's the only one the masked man's got working for him. But he sure ain't the man to head our posse when we go after the murdering crooks. I don't lie about that. You're right. There's Ed Torrance here. What about him? Well, Ed's a mite too handy with his gun. You need a man that ain't afraid to use him. This much I'll guarantee you. He'll go after that masked man like his life depended on it. Yeah, that's right about that. You ain't got no proof against the sheriff, Lamb. I admit that. We'll wait until he comes out and let him have his say. If he can explain how Blackie got he shot... He can't. You know he can. Then we string him up before we go after his partners. <laughs> Dangerous, go closer to Sheriff's office. I'm wearing a disguise. We'll get Silver and Scout and then right up to the back door. Oh, that bad. You heard what Lem was saying. Uh, him tell lies. But the crowd believes him. Before long, they'll be ready to lynch the sheriff. Maybe Sheriff not listen to you. We aren't going to talk. Teddy Silver. Come on, boy. Get him up, Scout. We can keep the trees between us and the street. Hit bad when we leave. I get out of town. I know. We'll have to show ourselves. The rest is up to Silver and Scout. And then no, Silver. We have to take that chance. The sheriff's life is in danger. They're back of office. Let's hope the door isn't locked. That's where Sheriff be. Back room. I think you'd better wait outside, Tonto. Uh-huh. Warn me if anyone starts coming around the back. Tonto, Tonto do that. No, look. That horse belongs to the sheriff, doesn't it? That's right. Get him saddled while I'm inside. Who's there? Keep your voice down, Sheriff. Who are you? I never... And your hand away from your gun. That draw. You're covered now. I want you to march out that door. Your horse will be ready. You're getting out of town with us as fast as we can make it. What are you talking about? That mob outside, for one thing. If you stay here, they'll lynch you. What for? For Blackie's murder. There's Tonto's danger whistle. Come on. That right horse. It's the same one. The There's master. no time for that. Into the saddle. You want to live, you hurry. If you didn't have a gun on I have, that. though. Hurry. Hit. Come on, Silver. Come up, Scout. Lamb, that white horse. And the sheriff. Boys, they're getting away. Open fire. <laughs> that proves he's guilty. Get mounted, boys. We're going after him. <laughs> The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. The sheriff escaped from Marchville with the Lone Ranger and Tonto, just as Lem Smiley had convinced the people of the town that the lawman had murdered Blackie. Ed Torrance headed to Posse and started after him, but they were unable to locate the Lone Ranger's camp, and Smiley was convinced that both the sheriff and the masked man had been driven from the district. It was one night, nearly a week later, that Tonto rode into the circle of light made by their campfire. Kai Kimosabe. Kai. Did you find out anything? Uh, we watch outlaw camp like you say. They hadn't moved? Them moved tonight. Torrance come to camp. When it get dark. Yes? Tonto get close enough, hear what him say. Yes? Torrance sheriff now. That crook has got my job. Go on, Tonto. He make all outlaw deputy. Take him to town with him. Well, there's a pretty how do you do. They brand me a killer and move an outlaw gang in to enforce the law. We gotta do something about it, masked man. The next move isn't up to us, Sheriff. I know. I sure feel like kicking myself, though. If I hadn't decided you was the one who put the bullet through Blackie and tried to arrest you, we might have found the real murderer that night. There's no way we can get evidence on the stage robbery or Blackie's death. But Smiley won't quit now. And the next time we'll catch him red-handed. How? How are we gonna find out what he's up to? There isn't one of us there show his face in town. I can work out a disguise with Tonto. And if I leave Silver here, they won't recognize me. You'd be taking your life in your hands. Kimasabi. I hear it, Tonto. Is that the wind? Sounds like a human voice. Yeah. Somebody's singing. That's right. It seems to me like I heard that before. Somebody in Marchville that sings that way. You want Tonto put out fire? I don't think we'll have to. Madalena. That's who it is. She used to clean up my office. Worked for Smiley, too. Could he have sent her? No, she hated him. And then perhaps Good we've... Good noche, senor. I have come to tell you a fortune. Hello, Madalena. How do you find this camp? I have looked for you ever since you ride out of town. Something tell me you did not go far. Why do you want to find me? I have come to tell the fortune of the masked man. No, none of that foolishness. He doesn't believe in your fortune. I might believe in this one, Sheriff. Si, senor. I have much to tell you. But uh, first, you must cross my palm with silver. Uh, will this do? A silver bullet? See. Si. The owner of the silver bullet will have his greatest wish come true. But the bullet belongs to you now, not to me. That is the proof. You are the lone ranger. Last year, you saved the life of my boy, Pedro. It has been my greatest wish to thank you for it. I don't remember any boy named Pedro around here. South of here, senor, on the Rio Grande. But uh, it is not with words I will thank you. I know you don't want that. And there's no need for any thanks. It is um, too bad the sheriff lose his job. It is uh, too bad the crook run the town. You must forgive Madalena if these things make her happy. What do you mean they make her happy? Give me a chance to help you. No one noticed Madalena in town. She go here, she go there, she do her work. No one pay attention. It is great many things Madalena here. The sheriff says that you work for Smiley. Si, senor. And for the new sheriff, too. We were wondering how we'd find out what they were up to, Madalena. You will not have to wander anymore. Only listen, senors. You listen first, then you ride. Tonight there is much work for you to do. You'll have to hurry to make it. All right, Mason, inside. What the? I'm the masked man. I have a note from the sheriff. Ed Torrance? The old sheriff, John Bailey. Say, if he's still around here, you tell him to make tracks. They'll shoot him on sight. That sounds as if you were still his friend. Well, there's plenty of others in town who'd like to see him back. On the other hand, if he's still hanging out with you, that now means... Read the note. Yeah. The, the Lone Ranger! Honest? Will you follow my orders? You bet I will. With you to lead us, I can round up every honest Things man in town. Things must have changed since you tried to lynch Bailey. Well, they have. We'll clean out that gang of crooks in no time at all. Not one of them can be arrested, Mason. There's no evidence against them. Well, we can run them out of town. We can do better. You're the express agent, aren't you? Yeah. Well, Smiley and Torrance are planning to hold up the morning stage from Winston. What good will that do them? There'll be no gold on it. You're wrong. I've given orders that no more gold is to be shipped from the West until further notice. And there won't be any further notice until there's some law and order in this county. If one of your passengers was to bring some gold from Winston himself, 
You'd have to carry it, wouldn't you? Well, yeah, but nobody's going to be fooling. And the line carry... would be responsible for it if it was stolen, wouldn't they? Yeah. Then you might be interested in knowing that Lem Smiley is taking the midnight stage for Winston. Huh? He plans to borrow five thousand dollars from the Winston Bank and then return by the morning stage. How did you get information like that? I paid for it with a silver bullet. I don't savvy. If you doubt my word, all you have to do is go down to the express office. You'll find Smiley there. Uh, but, but the rest of them. And there are certain things you must tell the driver before he leaves. And what things? He's to accept the gold tomorrow morning without making any trouble about it. When you know there's going to be a holdup. You promise to follow orders. Uh, all right, go on. He's to stop just outside of Winston and pick up two passengers. Who? John Bailey and Tonto. That's the engine who rides with you. Yes. Now hurry up. Get down to the station. <laughs> stopping for? Passengers. You aren't supposed to stop on the trail? I got my orders. Climb in, men. What the? Howdy, Lem. Bailey, the engine. Let a ramble, driver. Get up there. What are you doing Get here? Going. We just come to keep you company. There's a rope waiting for you in Marshfield. Oh, this stage don't go that far. I hear it stops at Pine Bluff today. Why, you... <laughs> What's the matter, Lem? Thinking you were going to have a longer trip? Driver, stop the stage. I'm getting out. Cancel that order, driver. You're covered, Lem. Just sit back and take it easy. Enjoy the ride as long as you can. <laughs> I know you think it's mighty funny me calling you all together and then riding up with the masked man. But don't start looking for our new sheriff. He ain't anywhere around. He and his hired gunmen are heading for Pine Bluff to hold up the Winston stage. Oh, it's true, all right. And you'll find out soon enough if there's any gumption in the lot of you. It was Torrance and Lem Smiley that planned every stage robbery we had in the last six months. It was them that killed Sam Wilson and Blackie. And here's our chance to catch him red-handed. Uh, how about it? Are you ready to go after him? We're with you, Mason. Lead the way. No, no, no. I'm not the one to lead you. We're following the masked man. Oh, no, no. I say you are. This man's the Lone Ranger. I thought that'd change your tune. Will you follow him? Then come on. Come on, Silver. Come on, Silver. Pine Bluff ought to be just around the next bend. That's right. What are you training your neck for, Lem? You can't see it yet. Where's the mask, man? <laughs> you think you'll see him? There, Bluff now. Sure enough. I've often thought that far side would make a swell place to ambush somebody coming from this direction. Nobody can see you. Hang here. right out. Put down that gun, Lem. <laughs> yeah, right up, driver. Oh, you should have known better, Lem. You can't scare off outlaws by firing in the air. Just watch close and you'll see a better way. There, mask friend, now. Him ride down slope. There he is. And there's some more of the boys heading in from the other side of the trail. Well, what do you know about that, Lem? They got those poor old outlaws slap dab in the middle. Just like rats in a trap. Get up there now. <laughs> Why don't you look, Lem? Uh, they're taking off the outlaw's bandanas. Uh, 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 I wonder who they could be. Uh, uh, Tonto, go get Scout now. Uh, uh, Wait, Tonto. Uh, uh, it's the new sheriff and all his deputies. Don't that surprise you? Uh, uh, don't it surprise you, Lem? After putting your trust in them the way you did, you must feel mighty sorrowful. Uh, shut up. Uh, here now, don't take it out on me. 
The masked man and Mason are heading this way with Torrance. You can tell him what you think of him. There's no evidence against me. Against you, Lamb? How could there be? Uh, well, Bailey, you're the sheriff of Marshville once more. That's so, masked man? If you'll take the job, I'm right proud to you. And then here's one of your prisoners. With Smiley's testimony, you won't have any trouble putting him in jail for 20 years. What's that? You'll testify against him, won't you, Lem? Of course he will. He saw every minute of the holdup. And if you don't take the stand, the people around here might think you had something to do with it. How about it, Lem? I... I'll testify. If you send me to jail, I'll tell everything I know about you. You fool, what else can I Just do? Just try and double-cross me. I'm fed up with you getting all the gravy and me doing all the dirty work. I'll tell them about the orders you gave You'll me. You'll stick your head in a noose if you don't shut up. Not without you, mister. You ordered me to kill Blackie. Yippee! Before witnesses! Just let me at it. No, you don't. I'd like to fill you full of lead. Shut down! You have one more prisoner now, Sheriff. Much obliged. I like to be kept busy. And the charge against them is murder instead of robbery. Your only problem will be keeping them apart until the trial. We'll put them in cells with double bars. Adios. Adios. So long, masked man. I guess you'd better take charge of Torrance until we get back to town, Mason. Wouldn't be safe to have him ride with me and Lamb. Well, you're right. I'll need your cayuse, Torrance. Get up there. The driver. Senor. Madalena. Is it all right for me to ride back with you? I walk all the way out here to see what happened. It's the long way. Sure thing, Madalena. Climb aboard. Gracias. Let's go, driver. Get going. Get going, Tom. You Jerry, reserved to ride home in style, Madalena. Was she the one who put your wife? You guessed it, Lem. Why, you... And you keep a civil tongue in your head or you'll be mighty sorry. Oh. Senor... You do not think much of me because I am poor. You have much gold. You will have plenty when you start collecting the rewards for these armories. But I do not want gold. I have something worth far more. This, this silver bullet. It means I am the friend of the Lone Ranger. And that makes me very rich indeed. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.